Hello and welcome to the Superhero Hub. It's your boy Sam. And I'm Matt. And today we are playing. Test your knowledge. Yeah. So I'm I'm reigning champion. Mm. Thank you. So yeah. Devious. Joker. Fifteen questions. A point per question. Person with the most points picks the next uh, character, be it DC or Marvel. Um, normally you ask me first, you know what I mean? So, so there ain't much point quibbling unless you want to go first and kind of, you know, set the bar. Nope, I'll ask you first, that's fine. Are you ready? Yes. That's one point to me. <laughs> <laughs> for what reason did the Joker become a harmless prankster for a period of time? Uh, comic code. The comic book code. I'll give you that, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Regulations. Authority, I think it's called. Yeah, I couldn't think. But, I was yeah. going to say comic book guide, and then I was thinking, what? <laughs> that crap lasts for a long time as well. From, what was it, the 50s? It didn't really become serious again until the 70s. That's what a good... It's kind 20 of years or so. Because you'd think around that time, it'd be like less, like less kind of contrived and stuff like that. Cause nah, around... nah. It's because the film code as well, that came in the 30s. And the films got proper like that for a while. Yeah. Which is what led to film noir and whatnot. And then with the comic books, I think the comic books escaped from it for a while. Because it was meant to be for kids, wasn't it? So they didn't pay attention. And then when people did, that's when they went serious on it. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Um, why did Bill Finger originally reject the idea for the character? Are you saying Bill Finger or Bob Kane? Bill Finger. See, I was, re I was reading about that. Actually, no, you're right. I should correct myself. I've written down Bill Finger. It must have been Bob Kane, because Bob Kane was in charge. Yeah, Bob Kane. Yeah, um... Reject the idea. Yes, I believe the idea is that Jerry Robinson, I guess, Bill Finger went to Bob Kane with "We want to do this," but he rejected it yeah, initially. Because there's a bunch of like that. There, there was a lot of disagreements uh, between them about who actually created the character. They were saying he had nothing to do with it, and then that, uh, and then he was like, "Oh, I, I, I don't share characters." And stuff like that. So you never yeah. did because they, they've all popped it now, haven't they? So you never did actually find out who did what. Um, uh, As if it's a specific quote, quote. Yeah, I don't really know. Tough one. Allegedly, of course, because we don't like you said, we don't know. He said it was too clownish. Yeah, I was going to say something like that, but I mean, mm. if you... Which I, don't, I don't even know what to make of that. Like, maybe he had a point, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure what it was. If, the, if, uh, he had, if he had red nose and, like, that goofy hair, then yeah, but I mean... Possibly. It is a weird idea now you think about it, though, isn't it? It's just because we know we're so used to the Joker, but I suppose the idea of a clown being a villain... Was a clown considered scary back then? Who knows? When did that become a thing? I think because it's easier because when you kind of hash out his story and stuff like that, that he fell into a vat of acid and got his skin bleached or whatever and his hair turned green or whatever, that's easier than just like, oh, I'm going to dress up as this character. Mm. You're going to be like, you know what I mean? Speaking of which, the next question. The Red Hood backstory was established in what year? 1956. Oh, close. 1951. That's what, if he pops up... That's what, 10, 11 years later? Mm. Mm. What was the name of his wife in The Killing Joke? Deborah. <laughs> Genie. Yeah, I knew it was going to be something goofy like that. What's wrong with Genie? But it's, it's like one of those names, you know. I knew it was kind of an old-fashioned name. Yeah. Why did Batman have to resuscitate him once? With the old CPR. He fell off a cliff. 
No, he got beat up by Nightwing. Apparently he saved his life because he didn't want Dick Grayson to become a killer or some crap. Mm. Who interviews him about Duella Dent's murder? Duella? Let's say Duella. Arnold Flass. <laughs> Arnold F- Jimmy Olsen. Oh. See, I was thinking police. Uh, I thought, oh, what's his name? Bullock. And then I thought, nah. And then I thought, I'd just go for that. No. Interview is a legit interview. Who voiced him in Lego Batman? Uh, Zach Galifianakis. Correct. His appearance was based on whom initially? Conrad Veidt. Correct. See, I, I think maybe that is what could have convinced Bob Gain. That bit's so I would, good. I, yeah, I would get that. Who wants kicked him off a cliff? Place? Uh, who did he want to kick off a, ki- a cliff, placing him into a coma? Oh, Let me repeat without butchering it. Who did he want to kick off a cliff, placing them into a coma? So you change it up there because you said because you said he in the first one. No. Yeah, who did he, as in Joker, yeah, who, who did, did he, he once kick off, off? went to kick off a cliff placing him in a coma and then you just changed it the second time around. Now I'm confused. Oh, well, well it's him. I, I don't mind telling you that. It's him. Oh, thank God, because I was going to say Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll go... Oh, I don't know, Nightwing to get him back. From... Gorilla, Gorilla Grodd. Oh. How the hell did he do that? Yeah, read the story. If you look at Gorilla Grodd in the Flash, you can't imagine him getting kicked off a cliff. Well, maybe he wasn't paying attention. Who knows? Yeah, but uh, where are we? Okay. Hmm. He killed and impersonated what fictional author? Fictional? Yes. So not real author. Oh, Jesus. Yes. So, so someone DC made up. Indeed. Well, at least you have a grasp what fiction it was. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking, I don't know it. Amadeus Arkham. Oberon Sexton. Oh. <laughs> Damien Wayne beats him up with what weapon? Crowbar. Correct. He was once believed to have attacked Bar Rakeen, who was the real perpetrator. I don't know too much about this stuff, so I'm... I don't know whether it's kind of his kind of character thing. Uh... Penguin. James Gordon Jr. Oh, I was going to say Jim Gordon, like Jim Gordon, and then I was, and then I got caught up in my head thinking about Gary Oldman, and then I was thinking, oh. <laughs> then I was thinking, oh, is that something Jim Gordon would do? And then I was just like, whatever. I was going to say. Moving swiftly again. on. <laughs> who who cut his face off? Uh, himself. Oh, I thought you get that one. No, it's Dollmaker. That's part of a plan. Yeah, I, was, I thought he did it himself. Uh, I would if I didn't say himself, I probably would have said hush. <laughs> the theory of super sanity was first suggested in what story? Battle for the cow. Arkham Asylum. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> what temporarily cured him of his insanity? Uh, Lazarus Pit. Correct. All right. Strong showing from you. Two, three, four. 
Is that five? I believe. <laughs> five out of fifteen questions. We count that as a well. strong show. <laughs> <laughs> and they read it. I think I've got. A, I'd say I've got some pretty easy ones. Um, okay, okay. In what year was Harley Quinn adapted into the Joker's love interest? You mean in the comic books? Yeah. 99? Yeah. That was a dumb question. <laughs> Why? Um, it's not a bad question. Because like, she started off in the cartoons first, so really all you had to know yeah. was when she was first adapted into the comics i mean it weren't going to be no long thing would it because she yeah, already yeah. had the backstory in the cartoon so i mean just whack it in the first issue done 99 <laughs> okay it was a really hard obscure question well done again. <laughs> is that what you want <laughs> yeah build up my confidence a little <laughs> I Jeez. Don't, I don't want that because I'm running down the list looking at the ones I think you're going to get. What storyline did the Joker kill Sarah Gordon or Commissioner Gordon's second wife, Sarah? Oh, Sarah, 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 and oh, yeah. damn it, what was it? No Man's Land? Douchebag. Yes. Who does he kill for excluding him from the secret society of supervillains? Alexander Luther Jr. I've got Alexander Luther down there, but I'll give you that one. Thank you. Because I know you would have given me the Jim Gordon one if I didn't. So they would. <laughs> in Batman, rest in peace. Who recruits a Joker to destroy Batman? Oh. Black mask. Black glove. Oh, God damn it. I was going to say black hand, I was like, that's not a thing. Yeah. I would have been right, it's not. Black, black hand is the kind of human guy who, uh, black as night, who summoned Necron or whatever. Um, uh-huh. In the killing joke, where do, what does, what, what's his... Mm. <laughs> what's that do, again, dear? In the killing joke, what does he work as before quitting and becoming a stand-up comedian? Oh god, you got me there. This is an easy one actually. I can't remember what he was before he was a comedian. Uh Damn it, I have no idea. A lawyer. Lab assistant. I don't remember that at all. Because this is a this is a good one because he's always like, um, it, it, it's always been alluded that he's been quite good at chemistry because obviously he makes a smilex gas and stuff like that and all these mm-hmm. different things so I thought that was a nice little nod there um, oh but it is you know we forget things over time interesting uh, what's unique about his playing cards oh I have no idea there's only one joker no, they're razor tipped. <laughs> right. Let me count how many questions I've actually got. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-
Uh, I'm just gonna concede it with this one. Whose power does he steal in Emperor Joker? Mr. Mitchell Fleck. Yeah. See, sometimes with them, I'll ask you and you won't know them. And I'll be shocked. And I, for a second, I was hoping that was going to be one of them. Um, what is the name of the mayor who he kills in his first appearance? Oh, well, I don't know. I should have been just wrong with these questions. Probably should have done. Hill. Henry Claridge. Wow. <laughs> what storyline does he poison Gotham's fish, giving them his appearance? Oh, damn. I can't remember. Return of the Joker. The Laughing Fish. Oh, that was an easy one. Damn it. What story was the Joker's face restored after it was removed in 2011, Detective Comics issue 1? Hmm, I don't know. Pass. End game. Damn it. Oh, I have someone with Gordon as Batman as well. Under protest, which character was hinted as being the Joker's son in a storyline of the same name? Hush. Anarchy. I don't know who that is. Uh, uh, Lonnie, Lonnie Machen. That means nothing to me. Uh, he's an arrow. You know, he's a guy who wears, like, the, the A, sim anarchy symbol, and, like, the white mask, or whatever. Uh, no. You played Arkham Knight, right? I think... Uh, yeah. I think he's one of the side villains in that, maybe. Uh... Or maybe Arkham Origins. What is the name of his version of the Batplane? Hmm. You see, you've got harder questions there. I don't know why uh, the the. Maybe I thought I was going to get more than five. I don't know why, but. Batplane, chunk up. There was some I thought you wouldn't get, which was a no man's land one, and I guess the first question, I don't know why. But what was the first question? Uh, the 1999 Harley Quinn one. Oh, uh, right. The, the Joker Jet. The Joker Gyro. Oh. Um, and I guess last question, uh, <laughs> what month was his first appearance? I don't know what that is. Um, March. April. 25th of, oh. 25th of April 1940. Yeah, that's everywhere. That was everywhere on the Wikipedia page. So that's one of them ones where I thought, just in case it was really struggling, I'll throw that in. Well, it wasn't quite a whipping, but it was a win. I mean, you got the first three white right, so that kind of put the pressure on me straight away. Three, four, five, six. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I couldn't think of another question. I mean, if I was real arsehole, I could have held it to a draw and replaced one of the easy questions with "what day," along with the month. Okay. <laughs> that would have been super douchey. Well, you know, <laughs> so I lost by one point. Whatever. Uh, gone then. Oh, damn, I forgot I was going to pick someone. That's why I just waffled there, and I was trying to give you... A, you, you, were, you were glazed over, <laughs> I, I thought, thought you were I thought thinking. that's what you were doing now, last thought. Damn it. Um, what haven't we done? Oh, blimey. Why don't we do... The Kingpin? Yeah, okay, I'm cool with that. I'm Sam. All right. I'm Matt. And we'll see you next time to test your knowledge. <laughs>